Every day we generate quite a bit of food scraps, like apple peels, potato skins, fish bones, eggshells, and so on. Most people simply throw their food away in a trash bag, but this waste is eventually dumped with tons of other garbage in a landfill, rotting and generating methane, which is a much stronger greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. So what does our local government do? I asked my biology teacher. Ann Arbor is a very fortunate city when we think about what they're already doing with composting. They do a curbside uh, composting program where they will pick up uh, people's yard waste as well as food waste. And the city takes it out to a facility that is uh, managed by a third party that is able to take that compost and uh, let food waste and turn it into compost. This program indeed sounds great, but there are a few drawbacks. The city collects compost only once a week and it takes much effort to prepare the food waste and put them into a compost bin. Not to mention the inevitable odors. This deters many residents who don't like the hassle. By composting on our own, we can get rid of food waste practically every day. If you do not have a backyard, you can do it indoors by using Bokashi composting or buying the latest high-tech kitchen composter by Whirlpool. But if you are lucky enough to have a backyard, you can try it more economically through hot composting or vermicomposting. But not all of these are easy. It either costs a lot or still requires effort. Is there a more simple way? I think pick composting is something that you don't need anything material-wise in order to take care of it. All you need to do is dig a hole in the ground. It's very good on a small scale. There are a couple drawbacks when we look at pests or, or uh, insects and other rodents or things that might get into the pit compost. To overcome these drawbacks, I decided to use my own methods, soil composting. All you do is dump your daily food scraps in a shallow pit, but then use a shovel to chop up the scraps as small as possible while mixing them in with the soil, until each small piece of food waste is now buried. Then, abundant organisms living in the soil, such as worms, roly-polies, ants, and tens of thousands of smaller ones called microbes help digest the compost. The key is to mix the food scraps with enough volume of soil. Just make sure the mixture is not too wet or too dry, but rather moist. After a few days, a good mixture won't smell and the food scraps you buried will have been composted. This doesn't require much space either, since you can reuse the same composting spots over and over again within a matter of days. This is by far the easiest composting method that I can find. This daily routine will simply dispose of your food scraps and provide fertilizer to your garden and plants all year round.